I can't believe those people. First they called me a witch for having glowing armor and putting on this hat. Then I shoot them in the face with this, and... Well, all they have to say is that if I'm really a witch, I should be able to fly. And while I would love to be able to fly, the best I can do is come out here and... Ha! Oh. Yeah, I can sort of hover when I get oh, down to the ground, but that's about it. So today, we're going to go on another witchery hunt. We're going to go try and get an enchanted broom. And the enchanted broom should let me fly. For this, I'm going to need to make some brews and infusions. I'm going to be working in the storage plus today because it's more convenient to have all of my materials handy. Uh, the first thing I want to make is a kettle. Now the kettle is the thing that lets you make brews. And I guess I'll just put it somewhere nearby. But look, right on top of this. Oh. Ooh. Where's my fence? Fences, fences. There's a couple fences. I would like to put this, say, right here. I wonder if this... Oh, that yeah, close enough. Okay, so let's open this up. That can't open it up. Oh, that's interesting. What's the book say? Throw the ingredients into a heated, water-filled kettle. Altars provide power if needed. Oh, we're going to need to put this near a altar then. Fill the brew into an empty glass bottle. Use infusions in a rite of infusion. But remember, death is almost always assured. Okay. I guess we'll just... I'm going to go take this outside then. And if it's going to need fire... I bet it just needs a piece of netherrack under it, and, say, a flint and steel. I get so many things in here. There we go. And it said water-filled. Yep. Nope. Nope. Well, that was strange. It looked like the fence turned sideways for a bit. Okay, so we got our water bucket. Go, Ocelot, go! Okay, there is an altar right about here. Let's see, let's see, yeah. Uh, did I pick these up? Yes. I guess what I can do is, we'll just put it up to the side here. There we go. And, oop. Okay, another rack. Fire, gosh. Now that doesn't look bad. Put some water in here. Ah, I'm gonna need a little 2x2 two two source if this is gonna be right here all the time. Let me poof up some water. Yash, okay. So we have this, and I guess the only source of items is in here. Brew of vines. Tongue of dog? Ugh. I bet that comes out of a wolf. <laughs> Wool of bat. Now, there's an item in here. This Arthana. I think that has a special drop list, and if you go attack mobs, it... Well, it makes them drop things. So let's go make one of those. Gosh. Okay. I wonder if this is enchantable. I always run around with too many levels and don't have much to do with it. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. The Bane of Arthropods 4 and Looting 3. I'm not going to complain because it has looting and that's exactly what it's for. Little tiny dagger to... Okay, let's take a look through here again. Wall of Bat. Dense web. Some of these are going to come out of the distillery, and some of them are going to come out of the 
the saplings, the bruise, brew of sprouting, erosion. Some of them do need altar power. Some of these sound like they have interesting results, like brew of the grotesque. Tongue of dog. That one is fairly common. I'm gonna need to go tame a few wolves. Yeah, so let's go find some wolves. Who is a good stupid? Who is a good stupid? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, these wolves used to be so stupid. They would just jump in lava and they'd run around like an idiot. And I can't get this one to sit up. There you go. I've also found a chocobo. Nice, lovely male chocobo. Uh, I don't seem to have any more chocobos. I think I'm going to go hunt around after I take these guys back. This place isn't all that far away. Whoa. What are you doing, bird? Glad to see the wolves teleport. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's a little bit far away, but it's just right behind the mob. A zombie grinder. And that makes two. What I really should do is I should go set up a breeding area and a, a home for these guys. I need some place to breed some chocobos, and I guess I need a bunch of wolves so I can rip out their tongues. I think this should do is a temporary holding pen. I mean, the wolves aren't going to be going anywhere anyway. They're all sitting down. And I did breed a new one. But I think it's really time for something more suitable, more permanent. I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make a wolf den first. That way I have all the wolves that I can rip their tongues out of. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to dig a little bit into the wall and... Ooh, there's a hole here. Ah, I took out Thumbcraft. There's going to be random holes in the area. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring in some dirt, some grass, and we're going to make it a nice covered area in here. And I'm going to start separating each of the wolves into a separate family. And... We'll try to keep the families nice and organized so we know which one goes where. I want a nice big area in here, though. We need to give them room to roam around when they aren't trying to sleep or I'm not locking them up for individual purposes. There we go. Doesn't have to be too fancy in here. I just need an area to store some wolves. And we'll just come back here a little bit and knock out a wall or two. Makes it nice and easy to knock out lots of walls with a hammer. And, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll leave this one dark because we want the wolves to be... Uh, we want to give them a place to sleep without being in the light all the time. Oh, and we need to keep the wolves away from the sheep, I think. So, we'll just grab all of you and come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Okay, and they should teleport to me if I just run over here. Yes? Yes? Oh. Okay, running around. Come to me, my wolves. Come to me. Get in here. Get in here. I have a nice treat for you. Carpenter's Barrier. Oh, no, get back here. You know what? I can just push you in here. I'm not too worried about actually getting them in here or not. I just... Actually, let's see if I can breed them again. Yeah. You two breed. Do your thing. Yay, more wolves. Oh, what are you doing? Stay put. Nope, nope. Get out of the way. Hit out of... Oh. Oh, dang it. You know, it's fine. We can have a nice wood... But, or dirt. Or yeah, Get in here. Fine. Just sit. Sit, boy. Sit, girl. Sit. It. 
her, him, I don't care anymore. I don't like wolves very much. I usually take my wolves and I burn them in lava, but cutting out their tongues is so much more interesting. Case in point. <laughs> oh, it worked. Oh, tongue of dog. Okay, and I thought I had more wolves than that. Yeah, there's a little one. Come with me if you want to live. Don't worry, I'll kill you later. Okay, we're just gonna just make this one sit and push it in there. Gosh. Okay. Tongue of dog. Uh. I think this is the recipe I'm looking for. The flying ointment. I'll just take this and I'll slather it all over a broom and we'll make it fly. There's redstone soup. Not sure how to make that. I think I saw that earlier, actually. A long potion of swiftness isn't that hard. I have some nether wart, diamond, feather, will of bat. I guess I need to go hunt a bat, and belladonna's not that hard. Redstone soup is actually just one page back. Redstone, drop of luck. Will of bat, tug of dog, belladonna flower, mandrake root. Drop of luck. How would I make that? How did you get over here? I thought you were sitting to I don't even know. Uh, well, Drop of Luck actually has a long and involved crafting recipe. It's a chain here. What you need to do is you need to take your wood ash and you need to make quick lime out of it. Then you put your foul fumes in your quick lime in here. Wait about 20 seconds and you'll end up with a few things. Don't know what the gypsum's for, slime balls are nice, but the oil of vitriol is what you want. And you take this and you put a diamond with it, and you get some odor of purity and a couple diamond vapors. And you take the diamond vapor and take the only gas tier that you have, and you wait another 20 seconds. And then you end up with some more interesting things. You get another foul fume to start the whole process again, as well as this odor of purity and reek of misfortune. But the refined evil is what you want. Then you take this evil, you find your crafting table, and you put some evil with some... What's the recipe here? Utandus extremis. And just a water bottle. And you get one drop of luck. Awesome. Okay. What else do I need? Redstone. Wool of bat. Wool of bat is what I'm missing. I have the rest. I need to go bat hunting. Well, the best place to go bat hunting would be underground. There's a fellow right here. No, get back here. Get over here. I'm going to kill you, bat. Ah! Hold still and let me kill you. Why won't you hold still? Get down here! Ah! I don't have... Ah! Ah! I will get you, Bat. I will get you. Where'd you go? There you are. Eh. Eh. Why am I chasing a bat? You'd think I could just kill the bat? Ah! Uh, hi. All this for a bat. There's a skeleton down there. Here, bat. Here, bat. I've got a nice dagger for you. Ooh. Hey, zombie. There's a bat. Hey, zombie. Give me your brains. They dropped a head. Oh, that's interesting. Hi. Zombie. Didn't drop a head that time. Okay, bat! Yeah! Oh, did it drop something? No, it's got one health left. Eh, eh. Oh, I can't. Oh my gosh! Oh, and it finally dropped its wool. Hey, bad zombie! I need to get that wool! 
Wolf of Bat. I am Newt, Toe of Frog, Wolf of Bat, and Tongue of Dog. Thank you. Just one wool. Well, I suppose you can't get lots of wool out of a single bat anyway. Okay, let's go make some redstone soup. It turns out I need another wool of bat. Hey! Get back here! Why do they always run away? Are you kidding me? It's like they're programmed to... Yeah! Oh my gosh. Why is it so hard to kill a bat anyway? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I thought you were a bat! And why are you down here? Oh, dog statue. The swiftness potion isn't all that hard. You just take your water bottles like usual. You put the nether ward in. You get your awkward potion out. So then you take your sugar and you brew that in. And then you've got a potion of swiftness, but that's not quite long enough. Redstone is the lengthener. Redstone will make any potion last longer than it would otherwise last. Alternatively, you could use glowstone, which makes it more powerful, but the recipe calls for a redstone speed potion. And that should be the last ingredient. All right, let's go make some magic. I need... What parts do I need? Drop of luck, pool of bat, tongue of dog, belladonna flower, mandrake root. Drop of luck. Redstone. Yeah. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. And now what? Uh, do I... Do I need an empty bottle, maybe? A bucket? I bet I need an empty bottle. Let me go get one of those. I grabbed a couple, and... Washa! What did I get? A water bottle? Did I just waste the whole thing? Oh, no. I did something wrong, didn't I? What did I do wrong? Redstone, drop of luck, wool of bat, tongue of dog, belladonna flower, mandrake root. Does it have to be in that order, maybe? Does it have to be redstone? Oh. I don't have another ghast here. I guess we're going to go hunt ghasts. Altar power, 1,000. Wait a minute. I bet I know what was wrong. Altar is 909. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna need another guest here anyway. How do I make this bigger? I had another look at the wiki. I really wish this stuff was explained in game, but it's not. So, you need a skull, either a skeleton or a wither skeleton skull, and a chalice and a torch. You don't need all those. The skull and the chalice are the ones that give it more power. And the chalice and the torch give it recharge power faster. So I'll just take these. And this is normal chalice. I guess I could put this right here. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a nice little cup. I might want one or more of those somewhere. Oh, and that's double what it is before. And put a skull here. Ha! Ah. Oh, look at how much power that thing has. It's just brimming with power. Now that's going to be enough to perform any experiments that I would want. Okay. The downside of wasting my only gas tier is that I have to go get another one. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to need another chest. Did I? No. No. Potion of Swiftness was not used for that. And the Foul Fume I can keep. I do have this Diamond Vapor, so all I need is another ghast here. Let's go to the Nether. Welcome to the Nether. I brought a plain old vanilla bow with me. 
I have tons of arrows and lots of string. This thing's fairly expendable. I keep running out of mana mid fire though, and to be honest, the magic spells aren't really fast enough to hunt gas with. Hey, and I haven't made a good tinker bow. Ah. Okay, so we're hunting gas for their tears. It's gonna be hard to pick up the tears afterwards. Where did you die at? Somewhere down here. Jump! There's the gunpowder. Aha! That was simple. Back we go. I found a friend. Hi, guy! The vanilla bow sure doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It is quite variable, though. If I were to take this dagger, and I were to plunge it into someone's heart, carve out their bowels, rip out their spleen, eat their liver, and generally sacrifice them to the dark gods of blood and mayhem and destruction, I wonder what parts of the body that this dagger would give me. I think I just saw a bat. Or maybe I didn't. Here, Bat. Here, Bat. I just want to take you and rip out your guts and put your wool in my soup. Mmm, Bat Wing Soup. Bat Wool Soup? Bat Wing Soup sounds better. I don't know about eating the wool. Although, I get the feeling that I'm either going to ingest it or smear it on my body for some reason. Yep. Here, Bat. I just want to take you and splay your body parts everywhere and sacrifice you to the Dark Lords. Why can I never find any bats when I'm looking for them, but when I'm not, they're everywhere. There's a chicken. Ooh. <laughs> Ritual sacrifice of chickens. Hi, chicken! Oh, well, that chicken gave a lot of feathers. That's not because of the, tab the dagger, though. Whoa! Four score and seven onks ago, my people were enslaved by your kind, and they were sacrificed. Okay, where are the bats? Here, bat. I heard the squeak. Where is the squeaker? And why are you not anywhere? Actually, I bet they don't spawn in light. Ah, uh, I can afford to just jump for this and dig and miss. Kinda miss. Is that a bat? No, it's just a lighting glitch. Whenever I want to go looking for bats, there are never any around, and whenever I don't want bats, they're everywhere. I think that's a rule of Minecraft, or life in general. When you want something, it takes longer to find it, and when you don't, it's not even there. Oh. They're everywhere, and they get in your way, and maybe it's because you're looking for something else and it serves to distract you from your purpose. In this case, my purpose is to hunt the bat and stick my blade in it. But normally I'd just be walking around and be like, hey bat, get out of my face! It's a fundamental part of human nature. When we want something, we go looking for it, and it takes a while to find it sometimes. When we don't want it, it seems to be everywhere, because we aren't paying attention to it, and we're doing something else. Maybe it's just that you notice it more when you're trying not to do it, and after you've started looking for something, you will notice all of the bats that are everywhere, because they will be everywhere. Now, I'm probably just going to carry around this dagger so I can hunt the bats and not worry about anything. Are there any bats down here? No. I really wish there was a bat so I could stab it in the face and add it to my collection. And by collection I mean stew. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. I'm going to find a bat and I'm going to gut it and rip it apart just so I can put it in a bit of stew that I'm going to use as an item in another 
potion, and then I'm going to sprinkle it all over this lovely broom that I made. Does this actually do anything? I can swing it. No, it doesn't seem to do anything. Why are there no bats? Target acquired. Oh, how do I get a... It's like the world is conspiring against me, and the only thing it says is you don't get any bats today. I see you there. I see you. Uh, uh, almost. Uh, cobblestone. Don't fly. No! Don't fly away! Ah! You're kidding me. Okay, fly down. Fly down. And it flew away. Yeah, that's the only bat that I've seen. I'm going after it. I will get you, bat. And it's raining. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. It went down. It went down. We're going to go hunt it. It's over there. I could probably use the remaining... No, get, come over here. Come over here. I, no! Are you kidding? I heard a squeak. I think there's another bat over here. So close and yet so far away. Okay, we're jumping. Oh, 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 oh. No, fly down. Fly down. Yeah, get closer to the ground. Get closer to the ground so I can... No, don't fly under there. Do not attach to the roof. Oh, bollocks. Ah. Whoa. All I had to do was look down here. There's so many bats down here. Bats taunt me. Yeah. And it's going to get really dark, so I can't see any bats, but I am going to hunt every one of you. Aaron. Yes. One trophy. I see you over there. Get back here. Why? Two. Nah. No. 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 Why won't these things cooperate? It's like, no matter what I do, they're just going to get in the way. When I want to kill them, they don't comply, and when I don't want them there, they'll be in the way, and... Why is it so hard to hit a bat, anyway? Where'd it go? Where, where, did, did, there you are. Or maybe that's not the same one. I don't care, I'm hunting every single one of you. No! Hold still! This is the greatest challenge of my life. Hunting a object that moves randomly and thank you okay and there's another one yep 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 I can almost get it can't see it now though uh, and this is the downside of bedrock fog sometimes I have optifine installed just to get rid of the bedrock fog sometimes I'll leave it out because it's more interesting to have it this way and I don't need it all the time how many bats will four I think that's enough will the bat yeah that's enough let's go just toss this in the pot <laughs> madame dia biobobshen udgigubshivar drowned I don't even know... Was that a maid? I can't think of another reason why a message like that would come up, but I did not name any of my maids like that. I think all the maids are in here, too. It drowned? That's a really strange... Maybe I clicked a... Gravestone. Yeah, all three of the maids are in here. Huh. Okay, let's try this again. I should have all of the necessary ingredients. Let's put them in in order. Dust of redstone. Drop of luck. Wool of bat. Tongue of dog. Flower of belladonna. And root of mandrake. Ooh. That's quite a bit different from last time. I'm not sure if I should let that go, or if I should just pick it up now. Does the book say anything about that? 
go back to the first page. Fill the brew into an empty glass bottle. Use infusions in a rite of infusion. No? No, this should be good. Okay. Redstone soup. Can I drink this? Oh, I can. I don't want to drink it because it's an ingredient in my next thing. But I guess we can just put this here and we'll get all of the ingredients for the second part. Soup of redstone. Potion of swiftness. Diamond. Feather of bird. Wool of bat. And flower of belladonna. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely done. It's a nice yellow. It's almost like a uh, nasal secretion. Oh, that's just lovely. Flying ointment. Okay. I think I'm going to save this for now. I have to figure out what it does. And I guess we'll use this next time. i got to put the broom and the flying ointment together. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and my hat has magic powers!